Hey babes, it's Kiara J and today I'm showing you how I transformed my nails with my at-home manicure routine. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is grab a dish. This is like, I just grabbed this quick bowl. I wanted something big enough to fit both of my hands comfortably. You'll need a bowl um, for your water mixture. You either need cuticle oil, you can use olive oil. That's why this is sitting back here. Okay, so for my mixture, babes, as I mentioned, I put a little bit of olive oil, droplet and a half of the droplet of the cuticle oil. Now what you want to do is put your hands in and leave them in and let your cuticle soak for about five minutes. Now that you've soaked your nails for at least five minutes, now we're gonna use some cuticle remover. I purchased this from Amazon. I will link it below and also add my previous video if you guys didn't see it. So this is going to get your cuticles ready so that it will be easier to remove that dead cuticle skin and push your cuticles back so you can trim the cuticles. Okay, now as you guys can tell, this particular cuticle remover is a bit more, has like a more watery consistency. So it wasn't as thick like a lotion as I thought it was going to be. Also, you guys, the cuticle removers are pretty strong. Um, so make sure you follow the directions on the back. Typically, you don't want to leave it like on your fingers longer than about three to five minutes. So now I am just rinsing off the cuticle remover solution. Okay, babe, so now that you allowed your fingers to soak in those nice oils and we've already treated our cuticles to get them prepped, at this point, you can choose like what you want to use to push back your cuticles and also to trim them. So right now, I am just using the Airsea brand drill. I also purchased this from Amazon and I will link it below. So I am just using the drill bit that allows to like buff out the cuticles so it makes it easier to clean up and clip away that excess cuticle skin. So once I am complete with trimming my cuticles, now I'm going to go ahead and switch the nail head so that I use the buffer. So this is pretty much going to buff out the nail and also add back some shine. We are more than halfway complete with our at-home mani. Now we are ready to trim our nails down and then file them.
have the nails nice and filed down so at this point it is time to moisturize 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 i can't say that enough by keeping the cuticles and your hands moisturized in general will stop all of the excess like hang nails and the excess cuticle skin your nails just overall look better when they're moisturized and not dehydrated just like how you look better when you're not all dehydrated and looking thirsty <laughs> so let's make sure we take care of those nails too we are almost complete so the final step you basically can just polish your nail or if you want to put on false nails your nails have been pampered and prepped and they are ready for the next step so um, I'm just putting on some clear polisher and nail strengthener just because my nails were a little weak I have been wearing a lot of press-ons and haven't really been treating my nails after removing the press-ons with all the excess glue just make sure that you're actually taking care of your nails in between wearing the false nails. That is it, we are finished. look thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe on my channel and i'll see you babes next time bye